Hey Aries, what's up? This reading is going to be about what will be happening for you over the next three days. The first card that we have out is the world. Okay. Starting off with the world is like opening a new chapter. It can mean that loose ends have been tied and it really allows you to start something without having to worry about other stuff that's not complete or not finished. Because of starting this new chapter, it looks like some type of plan is being made before taking action. And this can be you thinking about your next steps. Starting a new chapter or a new cycle, you can maybe see it like that making a plan it feels like resting or recovering is going to be involved in this the thing too with having a start off with saturn here can mean that there's some type of responsibility that you have to tend to some type of obligation um it can be something that's going on where you could potentially feel um like there's going to be a shift for some of you it can feel like a limitation of some sort if i didn't say that already or things just changing from what had been going on before. Especially too because this looks like it looks like you're going to be more still or there's going to be some type of like I need to be getting rest or I need to focus on my health or I need to make sure that I'm getting into some type of place that I need to get into or this chapter that I'm starting, this cycle that I'm starting is going to be about taking care of myself or doing some type of self-care. It can be like those types of things. It feels like rest is up ahead and like taking it easy is up ahead. I'm seeing like that type of thing. Sort of like, okay, this is going to be happening now and that's where I'm focusing. It feels too like if you're someone that likes to have a lot of different things going on, this can be a time where there's less of that. It's like you're completely out of rush hour. It feels like things really, really slowing down in this cycle. But for a reason, having four of swords is, this is to make sure that that you're like in the place that you need to be and so your energy isn't being depleted necessarily and also too like if you haven't been having time where you've been taking care of yourself or able to take it easy like this time can be something that's happening now where those things will be able to happen then or if you've been needing a break this can be the time when that happens And then you're gonna get moving again but it, it feels like I'm hearing recovery for some of you it can be something that you're going to be recovering from maybe some of you are in the midst of recovery currently what I'm seeing is that if you sort of do what Saturn asks of you which is Saturn may may limit you in a way where it's like you have to take care of yourself right now or you need to do this right now and it's all for your benefit it's all for like your health and your wellness that's the way that i'm seeing this four of swords it can be your mental health it can be your physical health it can be like you've been exhausted or burnt out and you need time to sort of catch up or you haven't been getting sleep you're going to be able to rest or you just need to recharge in some type of way or show up for yourself it will be a time when Saturn is saying, please do this, please plan for this as well. So if you need to make some sort of plan to support your quest of doing this, do so. And if you actually do what Saturn is asking of you here, which feels like just this, do this, then you're gonna be able to go into the next cycle quickly thereafter. 
So it feels like one of those times where Saturn is like, make sure that you're taking care of yourself, make sure that you're planning for the recovery or you getting your energy back to where you need it to get to or like your wellness in any sort of way. And if you do that, seeing the chariot, this is like the best way for you to move through the current circumstances. And that is what's being suggested. Like that is how you, how you work through this. And then you won't have to do it anymore. But it feels like one of those times where it's really important for you to take care of yourself. And if you do it the right way, then you're going to be like back on your feet moving around. But if you don't do it, and it can even be asking things that are difficult because maybe there are certain things that you do that aren't like the best for you or it is depleting your energy or you look at it and you're like, hmm, like maybe not the healthiest like habits of mine, whatever it is that that is happening the steps that you're going to be taking to really take care of yourself here if you do those things right it's like the faster and more efficiently you get back on your feet and get moving again so yeah it feels like one of those times when like an example can be somebody gets an injury and you know some people will get really restless and be like, I'm going to walk on it anyway, you know, and then ends up like getting hurt or like the healing takes longer. It feels like you have the choice of you can actually take this time to rest or do whatever it is that you need to or like plan for this. Because some of you, this feels like I'm hearing operative, maybe operation for some of you. Um those words are coming through. Some of you, you're going to have to plan for this. So it may be like maybe a longer period of time. doesn't have to be for everybody, but for some of you, it feels like in order to get the rest or recovery that you need, a plan is being devised to make sure that that actually happens. So maybe you like have to take time off, you know, or maybe you have to cancel something or whatever it is. It feels like one of those times where if you do this the right way, you're going to recover as efficiently as possible and get yourself where you need to be. And if you don't, this is something that can be very drawn out. And having Saturn here feels like this may be challenging for some reason to do this. But if you do it the right way, you are going to get the best outcome from this. Some of you, if, if you don't have anything severe going on with your health, this can be like planning for some type of break or like a vacation, something like that. I'm seeing too a lot of stuff that you've been doing and you could be feeling a little burnt out. Nine of Pentacles came out, which is you sort of taking matters into your own hands and doing what needs to be done and you being self-reliant, you being independent, whether you want to be or not. It's like I'm, I'm stepping to the plate and doing what needs to be done. But I was also seeing Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which can be like I've been doing all of this stuff myself and you can feel a bit depleted because of that. Like maybe you don't have a lot of support or this has just been up to you to take care of or you've just been having to do a lot on your own going to be restful reconnections that will be being made I feel like there's going to be a balance between time where you are like quieting your mind or doing things that feel rejuvenating to you and then also socializing I'm seeing that be a thing too with three of cups Okay. It looks like it looks like this time is going to be very beneficial for you and you are going to reap beneficial results from this too. Ending with the wheel of fortune. 
So we're starting off with Saturn. We're ending over here with Jupiter. And so it feels like if you do the stuff that Saturn is asking of you, which can be the more, like more responsibilities and obligations that you're being given, but, but for, for your benefit, it's not just like we're putting you through all of this stuff and you're slaving away and it's not gonna do anything for you. This can be difficult stuff that you're doing that also benefits you. But then when Jupiter comes along, that's the time where you can see a lot of stuff, like a lot of the benefits sort of coming forward and really, really great shifts that end up happening where it can feel like you don't have to put in so much work and things just get easier. Things are more it can just feel lucky or more abundant ending with Jupiter. I do get the sense too, like you may possibly be taking it upon yourself to, or at least moving in a direction where you could be open to this. For some of you, there can be a shift that's happening socially. Some of you, you can be reconciling with someone. You can be making up with someone. It does feel like that's gonna happen. There can be plans that you end up making. It feels like you would have maybe needed to initiate these in order for it to happen. Having nine of pentacles and two of wands is you being like, I'm in charge of my life and the plans that I'm making. Three of cups can be you connecting with someone. It can also be re reconnecting with that part of yourself that is taking initiative when there's something that you want to experience or something that you want to do and then having the chariot shows that like support can be helpful for you at this time and you can also just feel more like there are more people around you being supportive of you and that also helps with whatever this is that you're doing and that things do end up changing in a beneficial way or things just get better it can be like that type of thing that ends up happening you're starting a new chapter or a new cycle, whatever you want to call it. I'm seeing things move quickly. It looks like you are going directly into a period where you're going to be resting and it does feel like there are going to be changes that will happen because of that. It feels too like there needing to be this balance between movement and recovery and maybe even too, for some of you, you're gonna feel like there's an extreme of that, of like a lot of things happening and you having to be on board and then a lot of stillness. And that can be something that happens too. And it sort of feels like now a lot's happening. Now we're sort of slowing down here and it can just feel like an oscillation between those two energies. Actually like makes perfect sense too with Saturn and Jupiter. Cause Jupiter can be like a lot happening in a, in a big way and things like moving around quickly and like a lot all at once and then Saturn can be like slowing everything down to the pace of a sloth and then there's like almost like moving through yeah moving in like slow motion but then the wheel of fortune shifts and Jupiter comes through and it's like we're not even gonna go regular speed we're gonna go twice as fast so it can be like that type of thing that you end up seeing happening What's going to be going on gradually is it looks like stuff is slower or more difficult or there's like less progress that you see initially in the beginning. Almost like things start in sort of more slow motion, but then by the end, it looks like things move very quickly and like a lot is happening. So that's what I'm seeing be going on with the energy. Yeah. Some of you, you're also going to be like working with another person or working with other people. That can be part of things too. Even just taking on this like slow and steady mindset, making sure that you're doing things that, that benefit you, even if it's not feeling like this benefits me right now immediately and it may be more like this is going to benefit me later down the line if I do this now, like those types of things. And if you have anything that's going on where that is sort of a mode that you want to be stepping into, now can be the time where there are just like situations that happen or conversations that you have or just guidance that you get that will help you get on track doing those things. So if right now you're in a place where you're open 
to like allow guidance to come to me if there's something I can be doing now that's going to help me later on you will find that those will be things that end up circulating around you currently and it's your choice of whether you're open to that or not if that's something that you want to do but I am getting something about doing certain things now that will benefit you later down the line and that being somewhat of a theme here within this Yeah, I wonder too if for some of you there's something going on where you could feel like you had more independence before and like you get less independence now but it will be very temporary it won't stay like this for those of you that that's the case that something like that is happening but then I'm seeing that there's going to be a shift so it's not going to stay like that okay all right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.